So we're ready to cut our end pieces. So what we'll need is one sheet of XPS, a measuring device, a uh, pen or pencil to, for marking, or a jigsaw bolt with the uh, blade that's long enough to cut through the foam, and a straight edge. Okay, so I'm going to measure from that end and from that end 43 inches and 7 eighths. Again, 43 inches and 7 eighths. So the reason I'm measuring these uh, 43 and 7 eighths inches rather than 44 inches is I'm um, allowing for a little bit of error and also a little bit of wiggle room for a uh, glue thickness between the walls. Okay, so now we make our lines for the cut. Alright, so I've made my lines, and now I'm going to verify, make sure everything looks right. Let's go ahead and verify them at 43 7 eighths. Alright, before I make the cut, I want to make sure that I have the foam up high enough uh, to clear the jigsaw blade as, as we make our cut. Um, you can use what you have. I'm going to use just some extra foam I have laying around. Just make sure you got enough support underneath there so that uh, it doesn't try and bow on you as you cut. So I think we should be good. So we're ready to make our uh, jigsaw cut. Okay, so once we get the foam high enough to clear the blade on the jigsaw, we're just going to go ahead and make our cut right along the line. If you have to back off a little bit, clear the cut, and then continue on, feel free to do so. one 
gonna go ahead and turn this one so I can just cut it along here so I don't have to kind of come in from two angles. Might make a little bit better cut. Two. All right, at this point, I uh, like to go ahead and vacuum up all the little beads as best I can, anyway. We got our end pieces cut. Now we can uh, knock down some of the high ends with a sanding block. And we can also check how true we are with a square if we would like. So basically just kind of run your block along the edge here. Got to be careful because it'll gouge real easy. use a straight edge to kind of see how we're doing. Look for potential high points and then just kind of sand them down a bit. And remember, you are sanding foam so it can move real fast. Alright, if we got some areas that look like they might have. Uh, when we cut it, came out some to make sure that you're still within your 44 inches and 7 eighths. So what I'm looking for is uh, this is the inside of the trailer so I want to make sure that the foam on the outside of the trailer isn't farther out than the foam on the inside. So if it is farther out you'll need to sand it down but try, try not to sand the inside edge but the bottom edge or the outside edge. All right, so both pieces look real good. A um, little wavy, not too bad. Don't worry about that so much because you won't be able to notice when you're done with the trailer. So just so you know, I measured it uh, 43 and 7 eighths 
and um, anywhere between 43 and 7 eighths and 43 and a half so I got quite a bit of deviation in there but that's still going to be quarter inch on each side so I'm not too concerned about it because once it's all done um, all that's going to be filled up anyway so so don't worry about it 